break up with Lou, you did. What do you want me to do? Don't block the bridge. I am really upset with you, Pauline. What? What? Did you ever stop to think that it might hurt me to have him here? That it might be upsetting to me? No. Listen, you're the one who brought him into this family. He's been like a brother to me since I'm 16. Yeah, well, I've been your sister since you were born. Exactly. If he ever cheated on you or laid a hand on you, or did anything wrong, I'd beat his ass up and down the block. But you broke up with him, and for no good reason. You shared a very good reason, Paulie. Nice backpack, Lynn. You gonna be doing a little homework? I have a paper to do. You're gonna do a paper while the Giants are playing? Yes. You're gonna sit there and do your little book report. You're not gonna watch the game? Gee. It's a paper, and yes, I am. Really? I am. What are you doing again? Come on, what are you doing? You got all day back. You there. believe this? Hey, Ma. Two minutes warning. Hey, it's almost halftime. Get those books off my table. The screen pass. The screen pass. Don't you see? I am 59 years old. I'm in my living room. I see the fight. You can't see the fight. What are you looking at? What do you want to know? Thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful food that we receive as thy bounty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So it looks like you've been working really hard on that paper, Lid. I was working. I don't know. The school thing was more important than me. Football's more important than school. I guess it's a good thing we didn't get married, huh? You want to get married so bad, Lou? Why don't you marry my uterus? Because it seems to be the only thing you're interested in. No, we are marry your mother. Father. That's real classy, lady. Where'd you learn that? In college? Thank God. Thank God I had the presence of mind to end it with you. You know, eight years you get sucked into thinking this has to be your life because you put so much time into it. Thank God I was able to see the big picture. You know, I keep thinking I made this big decision, but when you look at it, any woman in her right mind would have done the same thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I keep looking at it like I made this big decision, but when you think about it, I observed a pattern, and from that pattern, I was able to predict the outcome. Thus, I didn't have any choice but to leave you. And you know what that is, Lou? That is an example of determinism. Let me know if you need anything. You still have another half hour before we open. Thanks, Lillian. After completing our papers, how many of us believe in the doctrine of determinism? And the rest of you believe in free will. Interesting. You must have found it difficult to complete the papers. And how did you fare, Miss De Luca? You know, it's pretty obvious I'm your favorite. You might want to pay some attention to the other students. <laughs> <laughs> did you find the assignment difficult? Yes, but then I figured it out. And what were your conclusions? Well, it's really just a matter of opinion. It depends on how open-minded you are if you're able to entertain a belief long enough to write a paper. I mean, to me, determinism is like saying the size of your ass is determined by the size of your genes, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's my opinion. And what about nature, Mr. Luca? What about the fact that no other creature, be it dog, bird, or newt, exhibits free will? I don't know. Some things swim, some things fly, some things live in a shell. We get free will. Interesting approach. I know. Mom? Mom? We're out here. Let's 
Mrs. Albatroni, remember? Uh, you sent my mother a condolence card? Oh, uh, yeah. So, so listen, so I, I hand you my paper, right? Hey, Bourgeois, it's on the stove. You should fix yourself a plate before Polly gets home. Yeah, okay, I'm not hungry. So, so listen, so I give the teacher the paper. What do you mean you're not hungry? I made Bourgeois. I'm trying to tell a story here. What? You don't want to eat? Don't eat. <sighs> you want me to eat the Bourgeois? I'll eat the Bourgeois. What's she talking about with the paper? I don't know what she's talking about half the time. <laughs> I told you she's going to college mm -hmm. now. She's yeah. a very smart girl, my Lydia. Mm -hmm. You know, she always has been. I mean, since she was a baby, she was the smart one. She can name the 50 states in alphabetical oh, order. Oh, yeah, thank you. She learned that in, what, fifth grade? Mm -hmm. She can still do it. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl, my Lydia. My pride and joy. You know, up until I was 13, I thought Frank Sinatra was the Pope. I'm completely serious. Every member of my family had two pictures in their kitchen. One of the Pope and one of Frank Sinatra. I always thought the picture of Frank was just him in his younger days, and the Pope was who he grew up to be. Multi-talented people. Now that's really something. 